today I'm going to be showing you how to perform weekly QC in Micro. My first objective as at the completion of this video, microbiology technicians and technologists will be able to perform weekly routine Kirby-Bauer quality control testing. And my second objective is at the completion of this video, microbiology technicians and technologists will be able to perform weekly routine Vitec organism quality control testing. Now, with that being said, let's get started. So there's 13 total organisms. I got this from the fridge. We um, take them from slants every month. And so we use these slants every week. And what we do on day one, which is what today is, we will sub from the slant to the plates. And then there's two stubborn organisms, uh, Haemophilus influenza and Strepneumo, that don't like the slant, so we plate from plate to plate because that's what they like. Okay, so it is now day two. All of our organisms have grown. So now we need to put them on the Vitec. We have three different types of cards. We have an STO2 card, which is for strep. We have a GN80, which is for our gram negatives. And then we also have a GP67, which is for our staff. And each one of our organisms gets at least one of these cards so that we can verify that our sensitivities are working. And this here is our Vitec. So the first thing you need to do is get three milliliters of saline. And we're going to make a McFarland. So you just take a little bit of the organism, put it in the saline, swish it around. And then I'm testing it over here to make sure that I have a 0.5 McFarland. And that is right there. And you can see there, it is a 0.5. So from there, since it is a gram negative, I took E. coli, I'm going to use my gram negative pipette because they will be two different volumes. And I take a little bit and I put it over here to make my dilution. And I'm gonna mix it a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the card. And then once I repeat all those steps for the remaining 12 organisms, I will go ahead and load this into the Vitec. Okay, and we are still on day two, and we have made, we kept our McFarland dilution for our Kirby Bauer, and you will need one of these for all of our 13 organisms. I'm just keeping one for the sake of time. And then we're going to go ahead and plate them on the Kirby Bauer. So you just dip it and then you do what is called mowing the lawn where you just spread the organism all the way around the plate and you want a whole lot of organism on here that way the discs work that we're about to put on there. And you just turn it a couple times making sure that you're getting an even amount of organism all around the plate. And then once you do that then oh, it's time for the discs. So this one was a gram negative um, E. coli. So it's going to use a gram negative disc, which is what we have here. And it has a whole bunch of different discs on it, thankfully. It holds 12. So you just make sure that it is locked and then you press down. And there are all the discs. And to make sure that they stay there, you just go ahead and press them all down because you don't want them to fall off, because then you'll have to repeat it. And nobody wants to repeat it. And there you have it. And then you do that for the remaining 12 organisms, and you incubate them, and then we'll be on to day three. Okay, it is day three, and I have all of our printout that you should have from the Vitec here. It's the QC reports, and we're looking for the discrepancies with a star. And as you can see here, the expected and the actual, there's no stars, so that means that it worked. And you need that for all of your organisms so that the Vitec is working properly. It shows that all of that good stuff. And also, after you've checked each one, then you want to put it in the system here, which you can see here there's this graph. You click on that, and then you can just highlight down and then accept each one. 
And lastly, there's this nice little form here, and it gives you all of the organisms that you need, all of the Vitek cards listed that you'll need for each organism, as well as a step-by-step -step guide. And this is also available electronically uh, in our intranet if you ever need assistance outside of this video. I hope this helps. The last thing that I wanted to share with you is when you do select your Mueller Hinton plates for your Kirby Bowers, make sure you're selecting the newest, most recent lot that you have gotten. And there is a little box here uh, where you can list the lot number and the expiration date, as well as uh, the same goes for any new discs that you choose to use for your weekly QC. Thanks.